Hello, and welcome back to Don't Do This Guide. Today, we're going to create more joy in our homes through caring for our plant companions. If you're an indoor plant enthusiast or just starting out, this video is for you. We often shower our plants with love, but sometimes our actions can lead to their unhappiness. In this video, we'll uncover common mistakes people make when growing plants indoors and how to avoid them. Stick around till the end for tips that will help your indoor garden thrive. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you find value in this content. Ah, water, the elixir of life. But did you know that too much of a good thing, even water, can be detrimental? It's a paradox that many plant enthusiasts face. Overwatering is among the most common mistakes plant parents make. It's easy to think that more water means more growth, but that's far from the truth. When we water too frequently, the soil becomes waterlogged, leaving no room for air to circulate. This creates a suffocating environment for the roots. Just as we need air to breathe, our plants' roots need air to thrive. Without it, they can't absorb nutrients effectively. In this oxygen-deprived environment, harmful bacteria can flourish, leading to root rot. Root rot is a silent killer, often going unnoticed until it's too late. So how can you tell if you're overwatering? One telltale sign is soggy soil even days after watering. This indicates that the water isn't draining properly. You might also notice yellowing leaves, a common symptom of stress in plants. These leaves may also become soft and limp. Another sign is a musty odor emanating from the soil. This smell is a result of the anaerobic conditions that promote harmful bacteria. Before you reach for your watering can, feel the soil with your finger. This simple test can save your plant from overwatering. If the top inch feels dry, it's time to water. If it feels damp, hold back. This helps maintain the right balance of moisture. And when you do water, ensure the excess water drains out of the pot. Proper drainage is crucial to prevent water from stagnating. By understanding the balance of water and air, we can create an environment where our plants truly flourish. Healthy roots lead to healthy plants, and a little knowledge goes a long way in achieving that. Light, my friends, is the lifeblood of plants. It's the magical ingredient that allows them to perform photosynthesis. Different plants have different light requirements, so it's crucial to understand the specific needs of your green companions. Some plants, like succulents, bask in direct sunlight, while others, like ferns, prefer indirect light. Observe your plants closely. They'll tell you if they're getting the right amount of light. If you notice your plants becoming leggy, it's a clear sign they're craving more light. Don't worry, there are simple ways to brighten up your plant's life. If natural light is scarce, consider supplementing with artificial grow lights. Remember, a bright spot for your plants translates to a bright home for you. We often think of water as a simple substance, but did you know that not all water is created equal for our plants? The type of water we use can significantly impact their health. Tap water often contains chemicals like chlorine and fluoride, which can build up in the soil over time. One of the best types of water for your plants is rainwater. If collecting rainwater isn't feasible, distilled water or filtered water are excellent alternatives. Another simple solution is to let your tap water sit out overnight before using it for your plants. By being mindful of the water we provide, we're not just quenching their thirst, but nourishing their very being. Imagine yourself standing in a puddle of water, your feet feeling heavy and uncomfortable. That's precisely how your plants feel when their roots are constantly submerged in waterlogged soil. When water is allowed to drain freely from the pot, it prevents the roots from becoming waterlogged. One of the simplest ways to ensure good drainage is to choose pots with drainage holes. Adding a layer of drainage material such as pebbles or gravel to the bottom of the pot can further enhance drainage. When potting your plants, use a well-draining potting mix. Remember, good drainage is essential for healthy roots, and healthy roots are the foundation of a thriving plant. Picture this, a room filled with too much furniture, leaving little space to move around comfortably. That's what it's like for plants when they're overcrowded in a pot. When plants are crammed together, 
they have to compete for limited resources, such as water, nutrients, and light. This competition can weaken them, making them more susceptible to pests and diseases. To prevent overcrowding, choose a pot that's appropriately sized for your plant. If you notice your plant's roots circling the pot or pushing up through the soil, it's a clear sign that it's time to repot into a larger container. Remember, a little space goes a long way in creating a happy and healthy indoor garden. Just like any other surface in our homes, plant leaves can accumulate dust over time. While a little dust might seem harmless, it can actually hinder your plant's ability to thrive. Think of the leaves as tiny solar panels, absorbing light and converting it into energy. When dust settles on the leaves, it blocks the sunlight, reducing the plant's ability to photosynthesize. Regularly cleaning your plant's leaves not only enhances their beauty, but also improves their overall health. Regular dusting allows your plants to breathe freely and absorb sunlight more efficiently, keeping them vibrant and full of life. Our plants communicate with us, often through subtle cues that we might miss if we're not paying attention. Just as a friend might express their discomfort through their body language, plants signal their distress through changes in their appearance. One of the most common signs of plant distress is wilting. Yellowing leaves can signal a variety of issues, from inadequate light to nutrient deficiencies. Brown spots on the leaves can be caused by sunburn, fungal diseases, or even pests. By paying close attention to these subtle cues, we can become more attuned to our plants' needs and address them promptly. Just as we wouldn't eat a whole cake in one sitting, plants don't need excessive amounts of fertilizer. Over-fertilizing is a common mistake that many plant owners make, thinking that more nutrients will lead to faster growth. In fact, over-fertilizing can be just as harmful as not fertilizing at all. It can lead to a range of problems that can severely affect the health of your plants. Too much fertilizer can create a buildup of salts in the soil, which can damage the delicate roots. This salt buildup can make it difficult for the plant to absorb water and essential nutrients. This can lead to symptoms like wilting, leaf burn, and even plant death. The leaves may turn yellow or brown, and the plant may look generally unhealthy. The frequency of fertilization depends on the type of plant, the potting mix, and the time of year. Some plants require more frequent feeding, while others do better with less. As a general rule of thumb, it's best to fertilize during the growing season, which is typically spring and summer. This is when plants are actively growing and can make the most use of the added nutrients. During the dormant season, usually fall and winter, reduce or stop fertilizing altogether. Plants need a rest period and too much fertilizer during this time can do more harm than good. Remember, a balanced approach to fertilization is key to keeping your plants healthy and happy. Always follow the recommended guidelines for each specific plant, and when in doubt, it's better to under-fertilize than to overdo it. Just as we might feel the need to move to a larger home as our family grows, our plants also require more space to thrive as they mature. Plants need a change of scenery and more room for their roots to expand. This is where repotting comes into play. Repotting is an essential part of plant care, providing them with fresh soil and more space for their roots to grow. It helps in rejuvenating the plant and promoting healthier growth. One of the telltale signs that your plant is ready for a new pot is when you see roots circling the bottom of the pot. This indicates that the plant has outgrown its current home. Other signs include stunted growth, where the plant seems to have stopped growing and the plant drying out faster than usual, which means it needs more soil to retain moisture. When repotting, choose a pot that's one size larger than the current pot. This gives the plant enough room to grow without overwhelming it. Gently remove the plant from its old pot, loosening the soil around the roots. Be careful not to damage the roots in the process. Place a layer of drainage material, such as small stones or broken pottery, in the bottom of the new pot. Then add a layer of fresh potting mix to provide the plant with the nutrients it needs. After placing the plant in its new pot, fill in with more potting mix around the roots. Water thoroughly and allow the excess water to drain. This ensures that the plant settles well into its new home and starts to thrive. There you have it, folks. 
by avoiding these common mistakes and embracing the simple joys of plant care, you can create an indoor garden that sparks joy. Remember, our plant companions ask for so little but give us so much in return. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Don't Do This Guide for more tips and tricks. And be sure to share this video with your fellow plant lovers so they too can experience the joy of a thriving indoor garden. Happy gardening everyone! May your homes be filled with the vibrant energy of healthy and happy plants.